Hello, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. Let's take a look and see what your love reading is at this time. We're going to look at the past, the present, and the future energy between you and your person and see what is going on. So let's see what the energy is for the recent past. Let's see, what is the recent past for a beautiful Leo, friends? Six of Swords, moving away from trouble, Aquarius energy. All right, so there's been some sort of difficulty. You have left the situation, Leo. Let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, Five of Coins, rough stuff. Five of Coins is feeling very left in the cold. This is mutual energy, so it does look like you are in separation at this time. Both of you are feeling really down, down and out about this. But this is a bit of a myth because when we look at the card of the Five of Coins, there's a big key right there to open the door. You just have to look up to see it. Okay, so that is Taurus energy. So Aquarius and Taurus. So let's see what else we have. Okay, Five of Wands. So it does look like there's ego-driven strife in the relationship that is Leo energy. It also often represents the fact that you're not dating exclusively or that one of you has put the other in some sort of situation in which they didn't actively choose the connection. It's like you have competition, but you both have competition is how it comes up. So something about competition, feeling left in the cold, feeling like forced to move away. Leo, that is your energy. Sagittarius is the energy. It's player energy, in and out energy that is currently going on in this connection. Knight of Wands is all about the fun, all about the passion, in and out, not around to stick. You know, they don't stick around. Here we go. Now we have the Seven of Wands. So we have Sagittarius energy. Well, this is actually Leo energy. So Leo, here you are. You know, you're in this mode like you're not going to explain yourself to anybody, nor is the other person. Feeling like there are people competing for you. Do you see all those wands at the bottom? But you're in a nice, tidy little bubble. So what else is going on here? This is a tough one. Look at this. Somebody wants to come in and speak. Both of you want to talk. But right now I would say this is a runs with scissors kind of energy. So you're going to want to slow down and think about what you're going to say to one another. That is oftentimes a precipice for a breakup, okay? So let's see what the energy is for. Oh, Leo, here you are in your reading. Look at this, the happiest card in the deck in the future. Woo, okay. So we need to find out what the bridging energy is here. I really like the outcome. And Nine of Cups, happily ever after, your wish is fulfilled. Wow, we need to find out what happens. This is quite a story, Leo. Quite a story. We're going to see what's going on here. So let's see what, oh, Five of Cups, though. Both of you are still focused on things that have hurt your feelings. You're focused on what's gone and what's lost instead of the Two of Cups still standing, okay? So we're going to look into this energy. I'm going to give you the table view because I know everybody loves that view. And then we're going to come up again and talk about this as we clarify, okay? So I'm going to clarify also with the Light Seer's Tarot in miniature. Okay, so what happened here in the recent past to cause all of this friction? All right, so. <clears throat> rushing, rushing, rushing. Moving too fast. Cancerian energy. I feel as though one of you really wanted to claim the relationship more than the other. And I feel as though when you moved in to the situation, you found that, you know, one of you found that you're in a third party situation. Okay, so that looks as though why that looks as though that's the reason you feel closed out. Now, Leo, 
whether it's you or your partner is in, you know, that'll be up to you to decide or to tell me in the comments below. But I'm seeing that your mutual energy is that you both really want to work this out. But the Three of Swords means that you are certainly at a bare minimum not dating one another exclusively. And one person's ready to settle in and the other's not so much. So Leo, let's see whose energy this is. The energy of the person who wants to be in the relationship more. I'm going to say that's you. Let's look at the other person. Let's see where they're at in all of this. They're, they're also moving away from a bad time in their life, though. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So both of you are in this to win this. But it does look like there was at least a period of time when you knew, and I think both, I think it was very much out in the open, that you were not the primary person this person was dealing with, or vice versa. We have this desire for a new beginning, a new passionate beginning from both of you. Both of you are not in the energy, though, to commit right now. The Nine of Swords reverse says that you're no longer worried about the direction of the relationship. You look like you're both grounded, but I do get that both of you are somewhat defensive about this. You're not happy about the turn of events, and I also get, as a clarifier once again, the, the Seven of Wands. So whatever you have to say to each other, I really think you're gonna choose not to say it. That's what I'm getting. She's She has her head turned, she's looking at him running in, she's looking at her, <laughs> she's looking at her. So whatever this is that's going on in this relationship, it looks like old wounds, need to be addressed, and yet, I don't think that there's any help if they are. I feel it's kind of like one of those situations where it li it is what it is, that you both know what happened, and that in essence, you're both accepting the way it was, and all you wanna do is figure out the future. So let's see why the Sun card is here for you. We get the Hanged Man, ah, oh, waiting to have fun looking at things from a different perspective, trying to figure out how to get to your happy place with one another. Again, that's Leo, there you are in your reading. So why else do we have the hanged man? Okay, the ace of wands. So it looks like it's a timing thing. What I'm getting is it looks like there's a short delay between now and the time that the two of you have this wish fulfillment, which is the nine of cups. That's the fairy godmother card of the of the tarot it means that whatever you came wishing for to the reading that your wish will be granted six of swords moving away from trouble into happiness bravo nicely done leo okay and here you look like you're crying over spilt milk but again it's mutual energy as outcome energy so what does that really mean for you Okay, the offer that comes in is kind of small. It's more like, okay, well, let's get together, see if we can make this work. The Page of Pentacles is about plans, but it's not a very big offer. The Five of Wands says, Leo, that you are conflicted about this. That's your energy. You are very conflicted about this idea of let's take it a day at a time. You want to be the Aries Queen. <laughs> you want to be the only person your person is dealing with. I don't think that you're going to accept anything less because the Aries Queen won't. Okay, so let's look and see what we have for the wisdom of the t uh, wisdom of the let's see wisdom of the Oracle. All right, so let's see what we have here. Sometimes I forget the names of the decks. <laughs> You'd think I would remember them constantly, but I don't. Okay tongue tied. All right, so let's see what we have here. What, what is going on here? Treasure Island, where you're both one another's treasure, and we see that with the Nine of Cups energy, okay? Let's see what we have with the Queen of Wands energy. Chop wood. Oh, Leo, you are going to cut them out of your life if they do not make some sort of commitment fairly quickly. So I'm getting you just really, you know, you're, if they start to bounce around and you feel as though they're, you know, with other people, they're talking about spending time with other people, you're bouncing out. That's what I'm seeing here. 
<clears throat> loyal heart oh nice so that is both of you that is mutual energy in the relationship so now let's take a look and see what the advice of the shaman dreams oracle says what to, what you should be doing about this relationship and this is for both of you all right so leo leo what is going on here it looks as though you were together for a long time. It looks as though you almost married at one time. And then it looks as though there was some sort of separation. There could have been water in between the two of you. But you both want this new beginning. Repairing the veil. Forgiveness. There you go. That is your outcome card. Is that you will forgive each other. You will repair the relationship. That Nine of Cups and Sun card is telling us it's time to replenish the empty well. So it does look like you're going to spend time together. That Sun card looks like you could be taking a vacation together. And we're getting joyful muse. Yay! So, Leo, it does look like you're going to get what you want. It is sort of a hard-won battle. I feel as though you have been through a long um, period of trials and tribulations with this person, but I'm glad to say that it looks like summer brings a lot of happiness for you. Leo, sending you love from Chicago. Take care. Bye-bye.